I'm Chris Armbrist from the Dakota Fiber Mill coming to you from the Gnome Schoolhouse and today we are going to wash some skeins. Um, we're going to be washing um, our, our Dakota Spun Signature Bison Wool Yarn. So we're going to wash it both in a bowl because oftentimes at the mill I will wash one skein of yarn from a large batch just to send it back to the customer so they can see how it blooms because oftentimes it can look like a totally different yarn once it's all bloomed up and it can just go from a sport to a worsted sometimes even. Um, that's why sometimes it, it's a little tough to gauge that finished yarn size for myself if, if it blooms out of control like that sometimes. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start washing. All right, we are going to start with hot water, the hottest water you can still put your hands into. So you don't want it so hot that you can't touch it, but you want it as hot as you can get it by still putting your hands in it. So I'm gonna start with filling our little bowl with hot water here. And I'll shut this off. And I'm gonna take just a couple drops of Dawn. I always use Dawn to wash my finished skeins. Um, does a beautiful job. I could use Echo Scour, which I do, which is my scouring aid, but it's it's pretty much overkill. All right, so, and I just mixed up a little bit. I'm gonna take one skein, and I'm gonna put it in here and just gently push it down into the water to make sure that it is all saturated. And there it be. Okay, let that sit. In the interim, I'm gonna get our sink bowl filled now. I always fill it first before I add a few drops of Dawn, otherwise you get all sorts of suds. And that's not what we're going for. So not that it's the end of the world, but I always just add the add the Dawn after I fill the after I fill the bowl. And I'll use probably four or five drops because I'm doing about 20 skeins here. So we'll do more than just one or two drops for the, the single skein. But it is it's nice and hot. But I can still touch it. You want to have enough water so that you can push the skeins down into it and they are completely submerged. But you don't need so much that they're, that you've got, you know, 12 inches below them. So, this looks the boat right here. Now a little bit more. Of this much dawn to it. Stir it around. I'm gonna dump my skeins in here. And just slowly, it takes a little longer when you're doing more than just one skein to make sure they are all saturated. So you just put, push gently down into the water. until they are all saturated. You never want to stir the water. You don't want to rub the skeins. You just want to make sure that they're all saturated. It's super easy to do. And you can use any mild detergent to do this. Um, like I said, Echo Scour does work. You need like a tiny, tiny drop, even for this much yarn. If that's all you have, that's fine. All right, and that's about right. Now, we leave them for 20 minutes. All right, now it's been 20 minutes, so we are first gonna rinse our little one skein here in the bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him out here and I'm gonna just gently squish out the excess water. Now, I didn't rub 
I, I just gently squished out the water. So now I'm gonna dump the dump the water out. All right, now we're gonna refill this up. To rinse. Got that there. You take the, you stick it in there. Get it saturated again. And I just kind of squish it. Not rubbing, not agitating in that respect. Just squishing it. And I just pick it up. And I squish it. Okay, and now we're just going to unskein this. And then you can take this and you can hang it over... Um, over something and let it drip onto a towel or over your um, bathtub or something because it will drip. It feels pretty dry just from, you know, squishing out the excess water. You can hang it outside too. Yeah, you can hang it outside on a, on a porch or what have you. But we're going to lay this guy aside because we're going to go to the rest of them and then we're going to show you a wonderful new product that we have discovered that we're kind of tickled about. So. Let's go down into the rest of them in the sink here. Okay, now we're going to do the same with every skein in here. Just gonna gently squish them out. This one was an odd size skein, so I just, I use, um, they're, they're stickers that go on files and they work really well. And if you use an ink pen, they stay on because they're longer through the wash process, which is nice. And it's very annoying if you label them and the sticker comes off when you're washing and then you have to count how many yards are on your skein. But anyway, or at least I do because when I sell the skeins, I need to know that. Okay, we've got them all out of the water. I'm gonna drain it, and I'm gonna refill it again with hot water, and then just kind of squish them out and rinse them in the same fashion that I did the one in the bowl. And then we're gonna stick them into our little spin machine to spin the excess liquid out. And you can also use a washing machine and just spin it out for a minute or so. In, in the washing machine just on the spin cycle. This one. Now we're going to rinse these in the same fashion that we did to the single skein in the bowl. And you just gently, gently squish them. You don't ever want to rub together or rub your hands on them. Just kind of, I just, what I do is I just roll them around in the water a little bit and give them some squishes. This is our, our little spin machine. It's a panda and it holds 22 pounds of a fiber of clothes. What it is, is it's actually for washing your clothes and using it to, if you hand wash your clothes and using it to spin out the excess water. But we're just gonna throw all of our skeins right in here. And then right here, this is the drain spout, so all the liquid that comes out of here is gonna come out of there. Okay, so we've got all our skeins in here. This goes in on top of the skeins, like that. We're gonna shut it up and lock it. And, and there it goes. You can see the water coming out of the drain spout here. Look at all that it removed. It's amazing. Look at how fast it's going. Absolutely amazing. Love this machine. Like I said, you can do the same thing in your washing machine, which is what I've been using in the mill for 11 years. Does it get them as dry as this? It does not get them as dry. It gets them very dry, but this 
it's just this is all this this machine is designed to do is spin, whereas of course washing machine is designed to do washing as well. And what I did is I wait till it stops dripping like that, and then I stop her. And voila. It's like dry. Oh, I love it. Love this machine. And they're just bouncy. You know, they're still a little damp, but for the most part, it has spun. I mean, just look at how much it has taken out of there. It's, 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 it's a lot in a little. <laughs> oh gosh, I bet it's, oh my goodness, it's gotta be three quarters of a gallon, maybe? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is, um, to, to further dry them and, and finish the dry process is if any of you have watched the dry rack video or the scrubbing table video that we've done, there generally is a little piece of PVC like this left and this works awesome to hang, to open up that skein and just hang them all from a piece of PVC and put them in between something to hold it as such and you can put a tray or you can put even a towel because they're they're pretty dry i it might drip a few drips but not very much and then i always put a fan in front of them to further dry them and then they the fibers are going to bloom and they're going to open up a little bit and just be super soft and wonderful